Hey guys, welcome to the Able Farmer channel. I am glad to be back. If you haven't noticed, I've been missing for the last two or three months. Uh, I ran into a little bit of a software issue, and uh, it kind of got me out of it. And you know, I just, I just haven't been good about getting videos up. Uh, I fully intended on getting the rest of the uh, maple syrup videos up, and that didn't happen. But I fully intended to see. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys stick with me this video because I have something that is going to blow your mind. Uh, so please stick with me. Uh, I wanted to just uh, address here, you know, a few things have changed since the last time we spoke. Uh, the whole world has gone into a frenzy here with the uh, virus going around. And I hope that you and your family are staying safe. And hopefully we can all get through this together. Um, anyway... Since I have talked to you last, my subscriber count has uh, quadrupled, and um, and a few of my videos have really picked up some views. So if this is your first time, you know, really watching, I welcome you and thanks for joining. But anyway, this video is going to be about Frank. I have some amazing updates on him, and we are going to weigh him, and I am going to show you the latest. And I'm telling you. And everything you thought about a Cornish cross, you might as well just throw it right out the window because Frank is going to prove us wrong. So, anyway, let's go up there and let's check him out. See that big white beach ball out there in the yard? That's him. Look at the size of that bird. You can see he is still getting around. He is about 10 months old. He will be one year old in June. You can see the size of him. See the spurs? If you can see that or not. He got spurs. Look at that rooster tail, and he has a uh, pretty wicked crow up here. But uh, anyway, we're going to get a weight on him and see how much he weighs. Alright, here he is. This giant bird. And we are going to try to get a weight on him here. Zero the net. And let's try it. Hey, two people. Put that over the top and you probably can't get out. Okay. He is exactly 13 pounds. He is a 13 pound bird. There he is. Alrighty. So the idea behind this back in June was I decided to keep a Cornish cross. And I wanted to see if all the things that you heard about a Cornish cross was true. For instance, you know, they say they need to be butchered at eight weeks, they'll never survive to maturity, they'll get so big, their hearts explode, and then they die. So that is what everybody always says. So I thought, okay, well, let's keep one as an experiment and see how he does. Well, I decided to name him Frank, like Frankenstein. So anyway, so I got Frank up here in my chicken tractor, and I didn't want him to be lonely, so I also put a female, slow-growing white broiler in there. And I did an entire series on the, on the uh, slow-growing white broiler that I got from Well Patry. And if you go into my playlist, you could click on the, uh, in the slow-growing white broiler playlist, and you can watch that whole series if you're interested. But, uh, so anyway, I just put the two together, I just didn't want him to be lonely, and that's what I did. However, 
a little, about a month ago, a little less than a month ago, I came up here and I made an observation. I noticed that my female slow growing white broiler, her back was all muddy and it made me wonder, are these two breeding? So that got me thinking, there's no way. He's huge. How could he stand on her back and do the deed? So anyway, what I did was I came out here and I got an egg that she laid. And I brought it down to the house and along with a bunch of other eggs that I got from the coop and I actually ordered some and we'll get into those in a different video. I marked the egg that I got from her and I stuck it in the incubator. Well now, 21 days later, guess what? You see, Frank, you are now a father. So, uh, what does this mean? Well, first of all, if you hear anybody say that it is impossible for a Cornish cross to breed, that is, in fact, false. But I'm not saying that you should raise a flock of Cornish cross and expect to uh, just have them, you know, reproduce and be sustainable. That's not what I'm saying at all here. Because a Cornish cross is obviously a crossbreed between a Cornish chicken and a white rock. And now that you add the cross, if you bred it with another cross, I don't know if the results would be the same or not. I guess we'll kind of find out. However, the slow growing white broiler, which is also likely a cross of some sort, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's interesting. Uh, I just thought this was kind of cool. Uh, we kind of did the impossible here. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Uh, go ahead and comment below and let me know. Have you ever heard of this happening before? Have you ever heard of a Cornish cross naturally reproducing? I haven't, so uh, go ahead and comment below and please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. I don't wanna stress them out. I don't want them to have a heart attack.